Hi, I'm Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 3 Chapter 7 Plans and Elevations. In this chapter, you will learn 7.1, Orthogonal Projections and 7.2, Plans and Elevations. 7.1, Orthogonal Projections. Plane, a plane is the flat surface of an object. Three types, horizontal, vertical, and inclined plane. Normal, a normal to a plane is a straight line that is perpendicular, or that forms a right angle, to any line on the plane. Orthogonal projections are images formed on a plane. When the projected line from an object is perpendicular to the plane. If projection lines are not normal to the horizontal plane or vertical plane, then the image formed is, not the orthogonal projection. Example, each of the following diagrams show the projection of an object on a vertical plane or horizontal plane. Determine whether the resulting projection is an orthogonal projection. Solution A. Yes. B. Yes. C. No, because the lines projected from the object to the plane is not a normal. Drawing orthogonal projections 1. Identify type of plane, direction in which the object that should be projected. 2. Draw normal lines from all vertices of the object to the plane. 3. Connect the points of intersection of the normal to the plane, to draw the shape of the orthogonal projection. 4. Redraw the orthogonal projection with actual measurements. Label all vertices and side lengths. Example A. The diagram shows a right prism with rectangular base ABCD on a horizontal plane. Draw orthogonal projection of the object on A. A, horizontal plane is viewed from Z. B, vertical plane is viewed from X. C, vertical plane is viewed from Y. A, the order of letters is following viewing direction. Point D is below point E is viewed from Z. B, point A is behind point B is viewed from X. C, point D is behind point A is viewed from Y. Example B, the diagram shows a cylindrical object on a horizontal plane. The diameter of the cylinder is 4 cm, and its height is 6 cm. Draw the orthogonal projection of the cylindrical object on A. A. Horizontal plane is viewed from Z. B. Vertical plane is viewed from Y. Solution A B. The length of sides and size of angles of the orthogonal projections of an object can remain unchanged, or vary according to the viewing direction. Example A. The diagram shows a right prism with a rectangular base PQRS, which lies on a horizontal plane. The plane URQ, is a uniform cross-section of the object. Draw the orthogonal projections of the prism on. A. 1. A horizontal plane is viewed from Z. 2. A vertical plane is viewed from X. B. State your conclusions about the length of sides and size of angles of the object and its orthogonal projections. Solution A. 1. A. 2. B. 1. Length of sides of TU, SR, PQ, PS, QR, right angle, remain unchanged. Length of sides TP and UQ are changed. 
Original 10 centimeters changed to 6 centimeters. 2. Length of sides TP, UQ, PS, QR, TS, UR, size of all angles, remain unchanged. 7.2 Plans and Elevations The orthogonal projection on a horizontal plane, which is seen from the top view, is known as a plan. The orthogonal projection on a vertical plane, which is seen from either the side view or the front view, is known as elevations. Draw a plan and elevations of an object to scale. Example A the diagram shows a right prism with a rectangular base ABKJ which lies on a horizontal plane. Right prism, object, plan, as viewed from Z, view from the top. All sides drawn with solid lines because they are visible from the top. Front elevation, as viewed from X. All sides drawn with solid lines, can be seen when viewed from X. Side elevation, as viewed from Y. Lines GP, HI, EN and FO drawn with dashed lines, sides hidden when viewed from Y. Drawings of a plan, a front elevation, and a side elevation of an object can also be combined on a piece of paper divided into four quadrants. Method 1, side view is from right to left. Thus position of this elevation is on the left side of front elevation. Method 2, side view is from left to right. Thus position of this elevation is on the right side of front elevation. The side elevation is drawn on the left or right side, of the front elevation, depending on the viewing direction. Example A, the diagram shows a right prism with rectangle ABCD that lies on a horizontal plane. ABHGF is a uniform cross-section of the prism. The sides of AAF and BH are vertical. Draw to full scale. A. The plan of the prism. B. The elevation of the prism is viewed from X. C. The elevation of the prism is viewed from Y. Steps 1. The direction of side elevation, direction Y, is from right to left, thus, position of the side elevation is in the second quadrant. 2. Draw the plan to full scale in the fourth quadrant. 3. Project sides of the plan with thin solid lines, to the first quadrant as a guide, to draw the front elevation, direction X. 4. Project the sides of the plan, and the front elevation, to the second quadrant to draw the side elevation. Thick solid lines, visible sides. Dashed lines, hidden sides. Thin solid lines, construction lines. Synthesize plan and elevations of an object and sketch the object. The drawings of plan and elevations on four quadrants, are connected to each other, and can be used to sketch the three-dimensional shape, of an object with ease. Example A, the diagram shows the plan, front elevation and side elevation of a right prism with a rectangular base. A cuboid. Shape block has been removed from the prism. Sketch the three-dimensional shape of the prism. The position of the side elevation is on the second quadrant. Thus the view of the side elevation is from the right. Step 1. Sketch the three orthogonal projections, given on the planes, using the measurements given. Surfaces marked 1, 2. 3 are surfaces of the cuboid block. Step 2. Project the surfaces 1, 
2, 3 so that they meet as shown in the diagram below. Step 3. Sketch the object and label the vertices, with the letters in the orthogonal projections, using the color as the guide. Step 4. Complete the sketched object, by labeling the length of sides. Lastly, the Chapter 7 concept map is shown as below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below.